Hey, kia ora everyone. This is Stephen Moe here. This year, I'm going to be trying to break down some of the things that I maybe take for granted, but I get asked a lot. And so I'm going to be explaining what the concepts are and what it is that I think you need to know. So in this short little video, I want to talk about something that is relevant for you who are founders or are running a company. And the question is this, what is a shareholders agreement and what is a constitution? So companies, when they're set up, it's actually really easy to set them up here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. You need to have a name, a shareholder, director, and the director needs to be resident in New Zealand or a director of an Australian company. You don't actually need to have hardly anything else. You'll sign some consent forms, but one of the documents that we usually recommend is something called a constitution. So the difference between that and a shareholders agreement is that a constitution is a public facing document. So you can go online right now, look up any company in New Zealand, and you'll be able to download the constitution that is available on company's office. So it's actually quite interesting. Maybe <laughs> this is showing my bias here, but uh, for a lawyer anyway, you can download anybody's constitution. You can read what it is that they say. And constitutions alter the what the Companies Act says. So if you don't have a constitution, the Companies Act applies. If you do have a constitution, it will modify what the Companies Act says. So it covers things like um, decision-making about directors, about meetings. It's quite comprehensive and it goes through a whole bunch of things. We generally would prepare one that's bespoke for the client. So it's very specific, but there are sort of standard form templates you can get as well. Um, so that's what a constitution is. So remember a constitution publicly available, anybody can download it anyone can see what you have to say. So this is where it gets interesting because you're likely going to have shareholders, other people involved in the business. So do you want to tell everyone in the constitution how you're going to relate to each other? The answer is usually no. So that gets covered at the arrangements between the two shareholders or three shareholders or however many are usually documented in something called the shareholders agreement. So the shareholders agreement is a private document. It's an agreement among people and so or companies. And so that shareholders agreement is something that only they will see. It's not uploaded to company's office. You cannot download it and only the shareholders will see it. So it will cover things that you might want to keep private. For example, um, if I want to sell my shares, who do I have to offer them to? Do I offer them to the other shareholders? Can I just go out to a third party? Can I go through another process? What happens about decision-making? What are the things that directors will side, decide? What are the things that the shareholders will decide? The really important things. So those are set out in the shareholders agreement. So that's the short little synopsis on the differences between a shareholders agreement and a constitution. If you've got more than one shareholder, you should probably have both a constitution and a shareholders agreement. Um, constitutions, I would also suggest it's really good if they can enshrine and encode the beating heart of your mission and purpose state what they are in your constitution and then report on it. I think that's something that is often missing in constitutions. But if you have a purpose-driven organization or if you have a company that wants to achieve something beyond profit, then why not enshrine it in your constitution? Publicly available, anybody can see it. Shareholders agreement, behind the scenes, can't be downloaded publicly. So I hope that is helpful. Um, in the um, description of this video, I'll put some links to things. We've got the Startups Legal Toolkit. We've got the Fundraising for Capital um, for Founders 
um, we have uh, other documents that I'll put in there. And um, if you have any questions about this, if it uh, helped you, then drop me a line, let me know, um, put them in the comments, and um, I'd love to keep connecting on these sorts of questions. So I would welcome what is your question? Have you got something that you would like to know? Reach out to me and I'll be holding a session at the end of March called an Ask Me Anything Questions session. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that actually. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you to understand the differences between constitutions and shareholders agreements, what they are and where they're available. Thanks for joining.